Hey guys, Tristan here, so today I'm going to be trying to do a voiceover. Uh, sorry if it's a little bit loud, you may want to turn down your volume. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on the Mac folders, which I just showed you in the background, how to design them. There's two things that you need. One is GIMP, and the second is actual folder. So you want to go ahead and open up your browser and go to google.com, search folder icon, click images, and grab that blue folder that I'm showing you on the screen. Save it wherever you want. You may want to make your own little... Uh, folders uh, folder so you can save all your folders in there when you design them then all you have to do is go and click search and put in GIMP you can click the first one or you can click the downloads one make sure that you get the correct one uh, if you have Mac or Windows make sure that you download the correct GIMP so once you download it you want to go back to GIMP you want to go to file open as layers open up your folder wherever you saved it Next, what you want to do is you want to um, make a new layer. You can call it whatever you want. I just said new layer just to make it simple. Grab your gradient tool. You can make those any colors you want. You just want to scale over your folder. You want to go to mode, multiply, and you must use the mode multiply. You do not want to use the mode overlay because as you can see, it has done nothing. So you want to make sure that you use the mode multiply. Also what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to put graphic pictures over it because that is a um, suggestion I got. I got asked that. I, first I use this Hulk picture but it did not do the job of what I liked it to do. I think because of the black in the picture. It did not sink in with the folder, so you do not want to use pictures like that. You do want to be picky on your pictures, what you use. So here I decided to use a second picture to give you guys a better example. Because that first picture obviously was not a good example at all. So I scroll down and I find my Scooby-Doo picture with a background. And as you can see that the picture is a little bit smaller than the folder. So what you want to do is click the scale tool which I just showed you where it was and scale it up to make it the size of the folder just make it cover the folder click scale go to mold multiply and now you can see that it is the background of your folder also you can make things less uh, dark or lighter if you want by using the opacity tool as you can see it does make a difference so that's pretty much the tutorial guys do not forget the Christmas giveaway um, it will be over on Monday it's on my channel you can find the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching and I hope you guys all have a nice holiday as well Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and I will be making more videos soon for you all and make sure when you save the folder you save it as a PNG later guys